If you're looking to build your first website using Hostinger, but you don't know where or how to start, then you've clicked on the right video. This Hostinger website builder tutorial is a complete guide through all the necessary steps to build a professional website from scratch, even if you have zero experience building websites. The first step is signing up for Hostinger. In the description of this video, you'll find a special sign-up link that gives you an additional 10% discount on your Hostinger plan. Simply click that link or go to hostinger.com slash medicsmedia10 to lock in your discount. To get started, we'll first have to choose a plan. I recommend to go with the business plan for the best performance and access to e-commerce features. But if you're on a tighter budget, the premium plan will work just fine for simpler websites. After signing up, we'll go through the onboarding process. On the second page, click create a website to start a completely new website from scratch. On the third page, make sure to choose the Hostinger website builder. Next, we can pick a domain name, which is basically the address of our website. But before choosing a domain, I recommend building the website first and then connecting the domain once everything is ready to be published. So for now, we're gonna skip this part by clicking on use temporary domain. I'll show you how to choose and connect your domain at the end of this video. Now we can finally start building the website. Hostinger makes this super easy. First, we'll choose the type of website we want to build. Then we'll enter our brand name. And here we describe what our website is for and how we want it to look. I recommend being as specific as possible so that the Hostinger AI can create a first version that closely matches what you're looking for. I've tested a lot of different prompts and here's the template that works the best for me. Start with a short description of your brand or business. Then describe the main goal of your website. For example, I'm creating a website for a surf photographer looking to get bookings through this website. And finally, describe the style you're going for. If you want to use any specific fonts for your headings and paragraphs, make sure to add them to the description as well, as it would be more difficult to change them later on. And under personalization settings, you can also add your brand colors or you can choose a color palette that you like. But don't worry, we can always change our colors later on. Then just click create a website. Hostinger AI will now build the first draft of your website based on the info we have just entered. When that's done, you'll see a preview of the new website. The text, images and videos you see act as placeholders and in the next step, I'm gonna show you how to replace those with your own content. But if you like what's already here, you can also keep it as it is. To check how your website looks on a mobile phone, click on the mobile phone icon at the top right. If you're not happy with the overall design or structure, you can always go back and create a new draft. Just click on back to AI form in the top left. Then adjust the description and click on create a website again. It can be helpful to recreate the website a few times to find the version that works the best for you. Once you're happy with the first draft, click on edit site at the top right. This will take you into the Hostinger website builder where we can start customizing the design of the website manually. Now every page on your website is made up of one or multiple sections. So for example, here on the home page, we have the first section right here. Then below that we have the next section and below that we have another section right here. Inside of these sections, we have different elements that make up the content of your website. Most of these elements are images, text, and buttons. To edit any text, just click on the text element you wanna change, then click on edit text and make your adjustments. You can also use the menu bar up here to customize the style of the text. And the same goes for the buttons. Just click on the button you want to edit, then click edit button. And here you can change the text of the button and where that button should link to. To move any of the elements on your page, simply click, hold and drag it to a new position. Now to change any of the images on your website, simply click on the image you wanna replace, then click on edit image replace image and then upload the image you want to add and then select it here. 
If you want to add a new element to your page, go to the left side and click on the plus icon. And here you can see an overview of all the different elements you can add. For example, let's add a button. Just click, hold and drag it onto your page. Then we can edit this button and make sure it's nicely aligned to the rest of the text. If you want to add a completely new section to your page, all you have to do is hover over the section below which you want to place the new one, then click on add section. Here we can either start with a completely blank section or we can choose one of these templates. I'm gonna use this template right here. So I'm just gonna click on it and it will automatically appear on my page. To remove any element from your page, just select it and then click on the trash icon. It works the same way for a section, just select it and then click on the trash icon up here. And whenever you make a mistake, you can just click on the undo button up here to reverse the last change. So now you know exactly how to customize the content on your website. Just remember to always check the mobile view whenever you make changes to your website. Sometimes changed or new elements can be misaligned on the mobile version. So you want to make sure to realign those elements to the correct position on the mobile view so everything looks perfect on every screen size. The adjustments you make here on the mobile view will not affect the desktop view. So you always want to make the changes on the desktop view first and then go to the mobile view and fix any misaligned elements. If you want to hide a specific section on mobile devices, you can just select that section here, click on the eye icon and then turn it off for mobile. Or if you want to hide specific sections on the desktop view, you can just go to that section on desktop view, click on the eye icon and then hide it on desktop. Now to edit any of the other pages on your website, simply navigate to that page by clicking on it in the navigation menu up here. And then you can make changes the same way as we've done before. Now to add a new page to your website, simply go to the left side and click on pages and navigation and then click on add page. You can either start with a new empty page or you can choose one from the templates here. I'm gonna choose this one. The new page will be automatically added to your navigation menu, which you can see up here and also right here on the left. To rearrange the order of this menu, just click, hold and drag it to a new position. Now let's look at how to customize the header and footer of your website. The header is always visible here at the top of every page. To edit the header, just click on it and then click on edit header. And here in the first tab, we can change the layout of our header. And under elements, we can enable or disable specific elements that will be displayed in the header. And in logo, we can add our own logo. And in the style tab, we can play around with the style of the header. So for example, we could change the background color. Then we have our website footer, which will always be shown all the way at the bottom of every page on our website. The footer works just the same way as a simple section. So you can simply click on any element and make changes to it. Now, if you want to hide the footer on a specific page, then go to that page first by clicking on it on the navigation menu, then scroll back down to the footer, select it, click on the eye icon, and then click on hide on this page. Now, whenever you want to change the colors of a specific part of your website, you can just go to website styles here on the left. And then under colors, you can see all the colors that are currently used on your website. To change them, just click on the color you want to change and then you can change it right here. To change the fonts across our website, we can just go to fonts and then here click on edit text styles to change the font for our headings and paragraphs. However, be careful when changing your fonts because oftentimes it will lead to misaligned text elements. So in case you change your font, make sure to go to all of your different pages and look at all of your content to make sure they are still aligned nicely on your page. Now, when we go back to website styles and click on the button tab, here we can choose the button style we want to use for our website. Then under animations, we can choose how our content will appear when a new page is loaded. 
Now let's close the website styles menu and head over to our contact page. Here, let's take a look at how to customize our contact form. First, click on the contact element, then click on edit form. Here you can change the form name and the email address where all the form submissions will be sent to. Under fields, we can add new fields to our form or we can remove existing fields. And we can also rearrange the order of these fields. Then under button, we can change the button text and we can change the text that will be shown once the form has been submitted. Now, when somebody goes to your website and sends you a message using this form, then you'll receive an email. The email will look something like this, where you can see your website, the name of the contact form and all the information that was entered into the form. Now, when you want to reply to that person, all you have to do is click on reply and the email address they have entered will be automatically added to the recipient box for your email. Inside of your website builder, you can also go to the three dots, then go to form submissions, click on view list, and here you'll see a list of all of the form submissions you received. Now, if you want to add a blog to your website, go to the three dots again and click on blog then click on start a blog. This will automatically add a blog page to your website, including four sample posts. To create a new blog post, click on add new post. Here you can either use AI to write the blog post for you, or you can click on skip, I'll write it myself. I'm gonna use the AI feature to write a quick blog post. So here we have our first blog post. And once it's ready to be published, we can just change the status from draft to public. And this will make the blog post visible on your blog page. We can also add an e-commerce store to our website. Just click on the shopping cart icon and then select add store. This will create a new store page with a few sample products already in place. To add your own products, click on the shopping cart icon again and click on manage store. Here, set up your store country and currency. And then you'll be taken to the dashboard where you can add your products, set up your payments, add your company information and set up shipping. Let's go back to the editor by clicking on edit website. Now, before publishing, it's important to go through all the SEO settings and optimize your site for Google search so people can actually find it. To do that, let's go to the three dots again and click on general settings. Here, let's first upload a square version of your logo as the favicon. This logo will then be visible at the top of the browser right here. Let's save our changes and next, let's also add a link preview image, which optimally should be 1200 times 630 pixels. Then let's save the changes and close this window. Then go to the three dots again and click on SEO settings. And here we wanna go to a page we have added to our website, like for example, the about page, and then click on generate new SEO info. Here, briefly describe the content of your page and click on next step. Then choose three main keywords related to that page and click on next step again and then click finish. Now hosting or AI has added an SEO title and also a meta description for your page. This will determine how your page will show up in the Google search results. Now also go through all of your other pages and make sure to add an SEO title and a meta description using the same method we have used before. Now, the final step before publishing your website is to add your custom domain. To do that, let's click on connect domain at the top. Then type in the domain you want to use for your website. I recommend to keep it short, easy to remember, and if possible, go for a .com domain. Then hit next. 
And here, just follow the prompts to complete the domain registration. Your new domain will then be automatically connected to your website. Let's go back to the website builder. Now to publish your website, all you have to do is click on go live at the top right. And now your website is published. Now we can also set up a professional business email using our new domain. To do that, let's go to website builder at the top left and click on website manager. Then let's go to main menu and then go to emails. Here next to set up free email service, let's click on setup choose our domain. Then here, let's go with the free plan. Then choose the email address you want to create and enter a password. Click create. And then we can either use our new email account in the browser or we can use one of the recommended apps. Personally, I recommend to use Gmail. And to set up your new email account on Gmail, you can find the instructions on how to set it up down here. If you're looking for a more detailed and in-depth video on how to create your website using the Hostinger Website Builder, then watch this video right here. I'll see you there.